Question, is it worth it to come to Boracay? So it's 2022, and if you're still wondering if Boracay is worth it, we're going to tell you the upside and the downside of this beautiful island. Beautiful white sands, the best thing just to put your feet in and just stroll through. But one of the downsides we'll tell you is that the sea does still have algae in it. It still has a good amount of algae in the water. So the water is nice, there is algae, something to keep that in mind. Is this island is very famous. You get a lot of tourists wherever you go. And that leads us to another downside. You're gonna get hassled by a lot of touts. You're gonna hear, Mom, Sir. <laughs> sir, do you want paddle boards? Sir, do you want tour? It's like, all right, I get it. Like, they're just trying to make a buck, but it does get annoying after a while. And that is a downside when you walk along the beach strip here. Now on the flip side, Boracay's got a lot going for it. It's a very small condensed island. You can walk from one end to the other pretty much pretty quickly. You can walk along the beach or you can walk along the main road. It actually has a nice sidewalk. If you're a walker, if you love to walk like we do, it's a great place for you. I was exploring the town today. I'm digging this, like this more local vibe here. Just, just a little off in the tourist trip. Speaking of walking on the street side of the island, there you can find local businesses and local food. Even though this is a very thirsty island, Boracay, the whole world knows about this place. There are things that local can just get, like this carinderia shops. There are calendarias that's very affordable for the locals who work in this area or who work in this island. Especially if you get out of the beach strip, it's yep. definitely affordable. To give you an example, this tiny little coffee shop, this tuck in in like little side street. Just outside of Station 3, you literally get out of Station 3, walk about 5-10 minutes, go check out Boracay Island Brew. They serve local Filipino coffee at a fraction of the price of the coffee you're going to get on the strip and just as delicious and maybe even better. And everyone there is so nice. Oh, amazing. The beautiful thing of walking on the street side is you don't hear a whole lot of mom sir, mom sir. You don't hear all of that. If you want a little break from the touts, you go there. You might get a couple people on the tricycle asking for a ride, but that's about it. Otherwise, you really get more of a local feel. If you want to just get away from the tourist vibe, just a 5-10 minute walk away from Station 3, you can have it. And I think you're going to ask, what about the food and booze? Food here, there's a western side, and there are also local food that you can also get. Eat all you can, and drink all you can. It's dangerous but it's worth it. <laughs> now we're talking about some of the international Western food you could get. A great example, we actually had some really good pizza at Sunnyside Cafe. They have a little burger outpost. They actually use an uni oven for pizza lovers. If you know about uni, that's a really good quality oven. The pizza was delicious. As a New Yorker, I give it two thumbs up. <laughs> some of the food and drinks can be expensive, but you can also get some great value. Here's a quick example right here. This delicious mango shake, 75 peso. Some of these are a lot more expensive on the beach. And a great way to eat on a budget is to check out the eat all you can buffets. The, at the one at the hotel we're staying is only 299 peso eat all you can. That's great value. There are also places that you can hang out with your friends. It's a little bit pricey, but it's worth it. Now coming here as a couple is fun, but it's even more fun if you come with some friends. Because you have spots that are buy one get one drinks, there's drink all you can. If you like to party, this is definitely a place for you. Not too much of a wild vibe, but just a chill vibe right by the water. Drinks, have a good time. And if you're so inclined, there's Jollibee. After night full of booze, you can go there and it's Jollibee, so it's... um. 
You get some Jollibee, or you can even get some other street food classics here after you drink. Question, is it worth it to come to Boracay? Um, the downsides, you know, there could be a little nuisances here and there, but I think it's worth it when you balance it out with all the good stuff about this island. Also, we got to, forgot to mention, there's also some great island hopping you could do as well. For a day tour, it comes with food as well. And as long as you're being patient with everything that's going on around you, with all the tourists and all the mom and sir, and <laughs> just enjoy your time. Also, don't forget the beautiful sunset. It's beautiful here. <laughs>